So in today's video, I'm gonna cover one of my favorite weapons in Escape from Tarkov, which is the lowest recall M1A that it seems like a lot of people are sleeping on. If you have a good trigger finger, it's an amazing gun to use. And I would say it's like one of the best guns in the game because it's really good at like everything. It's good at longer ranges, it's good at close range, and of course medium range is where it shines. So I will show you the build and explain it a bit in detail, how to get the parts and all that. And I will also show you some gameplay mainly focusing on PvP. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. All right, so first we have to get the gun. So we're going to use the M1A SAS from Mechanic as a base. At level 3 Mechanic, you actually have a barter trade for 17 Willstom pack, or at level 4, you can get it for 117 rubles. So as long as you can get the Willstom cigarettes for cheaper than 6.8k each, the barter is going to be the way to go. Usually you can get these for around 5,000 rubles. Every time I see them below 5,000, I always like try to snatch them up. And a lot of times I do get them for like 4,500 or even 4,000. So we're gonna start by swapping out some parts and just sell these to mechanic and we make some of the money back. So to start off, we're gonna swap out the Phantom Muscle for an A3 Lantec adapter from Peacekeeper level 3 that goes for $32. Then we're gonna add a Lantec Blast Mitigation Device from Peacekeeper Level 3 for $91. And the Lantec Dragon Muscle Break for $116 from Peacekeeper Level 4. And this combo is insanely good. It's the best in slot to reduce the recoil. So this is, yeah, can't get anything better than this. Then we're gonna swap out the Pistol Grip to either a Magpul Mo AR-15 Pistol Grip which is the best in slot, but it can be pretty hard to get this one because it's only on the flea and it's usually pretty expensive. So what I usually go for is the Hogue Overmolder Rubber Grip, which is way cheaper and way easier to get. And it's only one difference in Ergo. But for best in slot, you would go the Mo Pistol Grip. Then we're actually gonna swap the stock to achieve the lowest recoil. We're gonna add the Mesa Buffer Tube, which as far as I understand recently got added to the M1A and this will make us achieve the even lower recall than before. And you want to combat that with the HKE1 stock for the lowest recall possible. Something you could do here is that you use the Mesa buffer tube but you would use the Mo carbon stock with a butter pad as well. And that will get you pretty low recall and a bit more ergo but this won't be as low as the HK1. So that's everything we're gonna swap out from the base of the gun that we just got. We're gonna add a few more things to the gun though. Starting with the grip here, we're gonna use the RK24 grip from Scare Level 4 that goes for 25,000. If you're not that picking when I have the lowest recoil, I would uh, recommend the RK14 grip that's like on the side, this one here, which I like for a bit more ergo. And as for all gun builds, we need to have a laser or a flashlight for that increased accuracy while point firing. So we're gonna use the, the D-Ball Tactical Flashlight here from Peacekeeper Level 3 for $125. Since we will save one Ergo with this compared to a lot of other ones. Moving on to the site, there is two different ones that you can use in the game that gives you a 1% recoil reduction. So to get the lowest recoil possible, we're gonna go for one of those. So you can either go the EOTech HHS1 site that goes from around 30k on the flea market. The second option is the Cobra Reflex site that you can get from Prepper level 2 for around only 10,000 rubles. Worth to note though is that the Cobra gives you minus 6 ergo while the HHS1 gives only minus 4 ergo. If you don't mind about the lowest recoil possible you could use whatever you like here. You could use a PKO6, a EOTech, Valde, anything that you actually like. Then you could also add a backup mount, which is a bit harder to get now since it got nerfed, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. So you would need the NC Star MPR45 backup mount with a PKO6. So even though you have low ergo, you're gonna get a bit faster ADS time. You could usually buy the backup mount from Peacekeeper level 2 for $48. But since this patch, I don't think it's available anymore and it's only found in raids, so it might be hard to do this. But I thought it was worth to mention anyway. PKO6 have the same issue. 
So you can get that from the flea as well, but it might be hard to get it because Jagger doesn't sell it anymore. If you really dislike Canted Sight, you could use the Cobra or the HHS. But with the HHS, we get the 3x zoom for longer range and the Canted Pico 6 for closer range, which works out extremely good. But honestly, when it comes to this gun after playing it for a longer time, I think just using the laser for close quarter is extremely good. To add two extra ergos, I'm gonna add the Magpul Embus front sight and rear sight that you can get from Mechanic Level 2. This is optional though, but it only costs around 6,000 combined. In terms of mags, it's up to you, but for the best middle ground and for stats, I would go for the 30 rounders since you lose only 4 ergo, while with the 50 rounders you get minus 10 ergo. Worth to note though is that 50 rounders only go for 10,000 with the GM count barter trade at mechanic level 4 and the 30 rounders are $54 at peacekeeper level 4. In terms of ammo, I would definitely recommend M62 if you can buy it from vendor or M61 even. If you cannot get those ammos then of course I would go M80. But M62 or M61 is extremely good, like it's the best ammo in the game, especially M61. You can two tap the forex even though they have slick armor so i mean using that ammo you have a good trigger finger and you land your shots like you're gonna melt people so quick <laughs> in terms of suppressor i'm not a big fan of it but you could use the daniel defense uh, muscle break and the suppressor but as i said i'm not a big fan of suppressors but it's worth to note that you can use that but yeah that's basically it the lowest recall m1a build Pretty crazy how low recoil you can get on this gun. And personally, after playing this gun, I did stop using the Cobra and the HHS scope. And I used just a PK06 or a EOTech instead. And that works really, really good for me. But I would definitely recommend you guys to give this gun a try. And especially if you have a good trigger finger, like this gun is insane. I think it's, for me personally, a perfect fit. Like, I haven't played much SAW 58, but I feel like I can shoot similar speed and there's just no recoil, which makes it a bit easier. Like, SAW 58 is an extremely good gun, but it does kick quite a lot compared to M1A. But anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with the gameplay here. And yeah, if you're interested in more Tarkov videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure to, to like the video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay and see you guys in the next one. Okay, dude. Fuck. And I just decided to play the most micro. See, like, those gunfights are pretty silly. There's a rat there somewhere. He's not making any sounds now, though. I think he's second floor, dude. And that's why we use M1A, chat. Oh, this gun is, like, made for me, dudes. Would you not agree? You just don't give me the hallway. Guess I didn't. I 
I think that's it, but uh, I'm a bit scared. Hey, gotta be this gotta be enough, chat. Yes. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what? We killed fucking four people, dude. I was questioning if we killed two, dude. We actually killed the whole server. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought there were two, dude. We actually killed fucking the whole server, bro. Oh, I wanna have their tags, dude. There was a tree man. These guys were a tree man, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck are the binds? Bro, I'm fucking fixing my gun, dude. <laughs> oh my god, this gun is insane, though. <laughs> He took a nap. Little Timmy napping, boy. Motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my server, dude. Fucking tired of all these PMCs, man. That was like a fucking Kobe, bro. I think there's a high chance of fucking Kobe, that guy. Actually, let's fucking shake the roof. I think I killed that guy. If I didn't, then we're gonna have some fucking fun now. I did. Kobe! I need to sit on the roof. Fuck me up, bro. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a juicy boy, dude. He got the juice, dude. Man, if the vertical audio was better, they would have the second guy would have actually not died random there. Should not lose like this, to be honest. But level four. Oh, you had the RFB. Can I take that? Thank you. Just because people things doesn't exist, like. Strike camp boy. Good luck. Fucking wish I could have blown him up, dude. Did you guys see him? <laughs> <laughs> 